You may have heard a lot about US fifth generation fighters like the F-35 and F-22, but you might not have noticed that all of these jets are single seat aircraft. There are no two seat fifth generation fighters in the US fleet. In contrast, China has introduced a two seat variant of its fifth generation fighter, the J-20. Why is that? Why does China feel the need for a second pilot in the cockpit, while the US has no such plan? Why hasn't the US introduced a two-seat fifth-generation fighter? Are there technical or strategic limitations preventing it? And more importantly, could China gain an advantage by adopting a two-seat configuration for its fifth-generation jets? Fighter jets are not just meant to fly, they also have to fight the enemy while defending themselves. That's why some jets have two seats. Managing everything alone can be extremely complex, especially during intense missions like deep strikes, electronic warfare, or flying at night in enemy territory. In a two-seat configuration, the front seat pilot flies the jet, controlling speed, altitude, direction, and handling air-to-air -air combat. The backseat operator manages weapons, radar, communication and navigation systems. But the two-seat configuration isn't always the best option. The added weight from the second seat can reduce a fighter's agility and speed. That's why not all fighters have two seats. Single-seat variants are also available. Both single and two-seat versions have their own pros and cons. But when it comes to US fifth-generation fighters, we only see single-seat variants. US fifth-generation fighters come with many more features than previous generation jets, meaning pilots have a lot more to manage. But surprisingly, despite the wide array of complex systems, everything works together seamlessly, allowing a single pilot to operate them effectively. The sensor, fusion technology in these jets combines data from multiple sensors and automatically presents it as one clear, easy to understand picture, eliminating the need to monitor several separate screens. Touch screens, voice commands, gestures and automated alerts further ease the pilot's workload. AI systems and data links also assist the pilot in real time. Together, these technologies work seamlessly to reduce workload, making it possible for a single pilot to manage the entire operation. Even though fifth-generation fighters are easier to operate thanks to automation, China's surprising introduction of a two-seat version of its J-20, called the J-20S or J-20B, reflects a different strategic approach compared to the US. The two-seat J-20 is likely intended for more advanced missions beyond traditional air combat. China may be preparing for future manned-unmanned teaming, where the back-seated controls drones, loyal wingmen, in real time during missions. The second seat also allows for faster battlefield decisions without overloading a single pilot. In complex air battles or stealth penetration missions, the second crew member can act as a mission commander. By adding a second seat to the J-20, China has made some trade-offs, compromising stealth, agility, range, and cost. The larger canopy increases the jet size and radar cross-section while reducing internal space for fuel, avionics, or weapons bays. The J-20S appears slightly longer and heavier than earlier variants to accommodate the second pilot. China likely made these compromises intentionally, not due to a lack of technology, but because it values flexibility and battlefield coordination over absolute stealth in this particular version. In contrast, the U.S. relies heavily on automation, sensor fusion, and off-board support to avoid design compromises and maintain stealth and performance. The two countries are adopting different strategies, so which one could work better? Could China's twin-seat J-20S outperform the U.S.'s single-seat F-35 or F-22? The U.S. can achieve excellent stealth and performance with its fifth-generation fighters. However, these jets rely heavily on automation and external support, such as AWACS and satellite communication. In the event of communication loss or electronic warfare, a single pilot could become overwhelmed by the workload. On the other hand, while China's two-seat fifth-generation fighters may have made some compromises in performance, the addition of a second seat offers greater flexibility for future warfare, 
particularly in scenarios where humans and drones operate as coordinated teams. In such cases, the second pilot can focus entirely on managing drone swarms, electronic warfare, or tactical decisions without having to worry about flying the aircraft. When it comes to multitasking and team-based missions in critical combat situations, China's two-seat approach could provide a significant advantage. Having a second set of eyes in the cockpit, dedicated to specific tasks, may prove crucial in complex and high-pressure environments.